Hey everyone, Chad Kaler, field agronomist for Bex Hybrids in Northeast Illinois. Just wanted to do a little video here of something we don't see a whole lot across our territory and uh, don't experience a whole lot, but uh, this is what is the beginning signs of crazy top. So I'm in a field right now that was planted April 19th, 2020. And this year, uh, this corn would have taken uh, probably about two weeks at least, two to three weeks to uh, emerge. The last week in April, we had heavy rains, but also uh, after Mother's Day this year, May 10th, and that week, there was a lot of heavy rains that affected this field in certain areas. And I'm standing not too far from a creek that actually did get out of its banks a couple times this spring. And what we normally see with Crazy Top is whenever the plants start to tassel in the field, the top of those plants or that reproductive uh, parts of the plant are all vegetative. And when the infection of this disease comes in, it's actually a fungal pathogen that comes in early in the season whenever the corn is roughly from emergence time until about knee high or V5, V6 stage corn with flooded conditions. And usually we have to see flooded conditions uh, for about 24 to 48 hours over the top of the corn uh, to really see the, the signs of crazy top later in the season. And now unfortunately most of these plants that look like this that are going to develop into crazy top, you can see these that are crooked over here. And this is about uh, this is about V14, V15 corn now and it's only been showing these symptoms right now uh, for about a week. But you'll see these uh, really significantly wrapped whorls or roped uh, tops of the plant and they're curled over and also we can if we look down a little bit lower some of these plants are significantly stunted so here's a plant here's a plant right here that's only about two feet tall and it's significantly stunted and a lot of times we'll see uh, at the base we'll see significant amount of tillering but uh, here again we see this uh, roping effect or where the whorl is just all twisted together and bent over. Uh, again, once these plants do try to unfurl, I believe these are going to just show us that large mass of vegetative material out the top of the plant where the tassel should be uh, as well as where the ear would be. So, unfortunate thing is this um, this symptomology will not produce an ear um, and it's just something that you know when we look at hybrid selection that's probably the biggest thing we can look for is hybrid selection is probably one of the biggest factors to managing crazy top there's not a fungicide really that we can apply at tassel time to help this out uh, but hybrid selection would be the number one key we know there are certain genetic backgrounds that uh, are much more tolerant to those early season flooding conditions. So talk to your seed representative with Bex about what hybrids they may be able to select if they uh, want to manage this disease uh, proactively. Thank you very much.